When I first made the mixture, when I first made the mixtures to the top half, there was one bag and when I bought it at £22 a bag, that bag was meant to have done the whole table. As you can see, it didn't. That top bit, that bag, the first bag only did the top bit. We had to go back and buy some more. So we bought three more bags at £22 a bag. That is expensive. What I'm saying to you now is that look around for your grouting you don't have to pay because when we went to B&Q the, the size of the bag was there for eight pound I think it was eight pound and we could have got that times four times eight uh, could have even got five bags and make it thicker because the thick and the mixture is uh, one water to five one water to five cup that didn't work it was too thick so now I made it runny because I need this what 22 pound times four is what Francesca 88 pound 88 pound just to grab the table <coughs> right so I need it to spread for nearly a hundred pound that is ridiculous and that's why it's thin <laughs> bought this resident remover to actually do what I'm doing now but I find that this stuff is so hard to come off um, that I need help with some water and I've used some of this other stuff another company already and they really don't work I haven't given this one a try but I don't have confidence in them you spend all this money and they don't work <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is my wife going to film something which she should have done about 10 hours ago. Hang on, put one of those tops on. <laughs> go on, put one on, put one on. I'm not going to fit Go on, go on, go on. No. Go on. Hello, hello. Once again, when we nearly finished this section here, I forgot to film, right? So we've been doing this all morning, putting all these on. You saw it at the stage when it had the back on, but today we thought we'll just do all this section what we've done today. And I've left and I just cut these knobs off, which you saw it earlier on. So we've just done that. I'll be back. Right, so now that we've done this and cut it off, this section here, I've left this section open which my husband is cutting the wood for this section at the moment so you will see us putting that on um, the reason being is because that pot is very heavy and we better slide it out before we close the door but this is what we've done so far and then probably tomorrow we'll do the other two which is a different shape but I hope you like it so oh I know what you think what I've done is that I've screwed in all this just to hold it and now I've got to go around and finish them so some of these are not some of these are not done yet so We've got to do that to the whole lot to secure it because what I did is with the screws yes yeah, that needs screen in as well with the screws to free free um 
to be safe. Let's undo that. And here we have the Desri Jordan in a natural habitat <laughs> amongst all the flowers and we'll the plants the side. and amongst safe her side. tools. <laughs> oh dear. Right. You might not think this creature was born this way, but she was. <laughs> and here we have it, she's about to put the nails into the nail gun and press the button and hey, whammo, bing bang, bish bosh, job done. I love my tools. I love tools, electrical or whatever, because you get a lot of stuff done fast, fast. And as he said, yeah. Oh, they're my tools. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put the battery back in to be safe. Now it's safe. Right. I can't do that one because that's in the way. Right, I've done those two. As you can see, this one isn't screwed at all. So what I did is, I use screw the top one in and the bottom one to hold the rest in because it really is tiring work. So, and let the gun do the rest. Can I go now? Yeah, huh? No, stop now. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Desri Jordan. Mrs. Basherator. Is any ready for me yet? Not quite, almost. Okay. My husband's at the bottom of the garden. Don't think I'm doing this by myself because I'm not. Uh, I'm fitting them in. He's cutting the wood. I'm measuring it up. He cuts to my measurements. That's my husband's style. He did that one on his own. And this one's my style. And then we're both going to finish that one off. That's going to be the same as the other one down there. So these are my raised flower beds. As you can see, we've got a very large garden. My children are complaining because I'm taking away the space. But as far as I'm concerned, I've got enough space. And I'm expecting him to be, to leave soon. So many, so many years to come. So it's my garden, and my husband.
That's my mitre point. Right. Now, either I have it coming out at the edge more, or if I do that, this will be showing. Now, I like the idea of them not showing, but in reality, if I do that, I'll be losing some space of my um, planting area. And to me, it will be weaker coming out forward, but at least I get more of my boxes. So I'm gonna change them to have that, to have that showing and do it that way other than to have all of it hidden, which I do prefer. But I need to get more space out of my box. So I'm going to reassess this. I need another tall one for this side. My son has come to help me. <laughs> This is my eldest son. Clinton Jordan, my firstborn. Got him doing that, digging a trench for me. Got my husband down there, cutting the wood. And now I'm going to mitre these corners. go through two thickness of wood this size is not deep enough so what I'm gonna to have to do is at least it will graze the top one and then I'll follow that but it won't be a perfect match when I finish to go
Let me show you it close up. Right, that's my first one done. I must admit, I need a new blade. So that one is not a bad cut. But this one here, I made an abortion of it. But the mitre is okay. And I went with my husband's suggestion and let that show. I would have preferred it hidden, but I've got to have his, let him have his way some, somewhere along the line. So that's that, the first one done. I'm happy with that. And I hope you carpenters are happy with it too. <laughs> Got to tidy it up now. I didn't like these showing but my husband wanted it tilted more forward so I went with my husband and tilted it forward and gave it more of a lip going over edge if it was the edging was bigger I would have covered that but afterward I thought it made sense because I'm losing a bit I'm losing a lot of the inside which is what I need but anyway they're the corners and I mitered I'm gonna put some edging to finish it off but I've got to make sure I've got enough wood first to finish it off like that and at the front and that will be my finishing for that but I've got to check because it looks like we're running out of wood I might do the front as well but I might not I might just leave it I might leave it or buy a different type of wood but anyway that's it now I've got to buy the dirt 
compost and put it in. This bit's a bit untidy, but I'll smooth it out later. I need a new blade for my rotary. That'll do. So that's that. Right. And then I thought I'll finish it off with this lip here. Nice shelf. I thought I'd do the same with that, but too much work to put something across just to finish it off. Leave it. There we go. It's it is 12 feet feet foot long by the outside there i think that's five foot coming out and then i took it in so it is enormous let me measure it for you ah. right so that's three foot at that point and i took the height down it was 80 in centimeters but i've now brought it down to 67 67 centimeters uh it was just too high uh, and that is where is it oh nearly six foot wow i started off working it to be five foot but i brought it down because this circle here is where we're going to have the deck chair sitting on so we're filling it with cement nice and flat and that one there as well and then we're going to put another one opposite over there so each person's face it face, facing each other but the cement we bought wasn't enough so and to have a top uh, a van load deliver it to us we have enough it's not enough cement so we've got to mix it ourselves so that's what my son was doing today putting that circle in for me and i'm going to cheat i'm not going to dig up the grass this time we did on the other one but i'm just going to pour it put the plastic down pour it down put the thing on and that's it running out of time so we got that one to make now <laughs> <laughs> 